Now, let me introduce you to one of the most important concepts in OOP and in programming in general, which is doing or calling a function more than one time. So here, for example, if I call this function once, it's going to increase the speed only one time, 50, 50 by 50. But what if, we, what if I want to increase that speed many times? And instead of calling this function one time, suppose that I want to call this function five times. So each time I want to increase the speed by 10. So what I would do is that I would have to, I would have to come over here and say Mercedes dot increase speed. And then I pass 10. And then I would have to do the same thing again. I would have to say Mercedes dot increase speed. And then I pass 10 because I want to increase it again. Here, by the way, it should be print. And then I would have to come over here one more time and do the same boring thing. Mercedes dot increase speed. And then I would have to pass 10. And then I would have to come uh, back over here and call the same function one more time Mercedes dot increase speed so now we have this function called one one and then here two and then here three and then here four and then here five as you can see and as you can see five times now if I save let me save and run my script and show you what I am going to get. So if I run my script, what I'm going to get is that I'm going to get 50 and then 60, 70, 80, 90, and then 100, and then here 100 because I, I called here the Mercedes speed at the end. So as you can see, I increased the speed t uh, by 10 five times. So I got uh, from 50 to 100. But what suppose that you want to call this function like 100 times is it ask yourself is it correct to keep copying this line of code and paste it many 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 times of course this is not correct and here where the loops come in handy loops are used to eliminate this problem so this problem instead of calling a function many times or, or instead of instead of uh, typing a code um, many many times Loops are going to solve this problem because loops are going to execute the code as many times as you want and you don't have to worry about typing the code over and over again. So how can we use loops to, to increase the speed five times? Well, to do that, first of all, I'm going to remove all of these and then here I'm going to come over here and then I'm going to create a loop using the while and then here I'm going to say counter and then the counter is going to be uh, as long as the counter is smaller than 5. And then here I'm going to say counter is equal to 0. And then each time, here I'm going to add a semicolon. Uh, and then each time I execute a code, I'm going to increase this counter. So that it gets, it gets uh, increased and I get the code that is, that's going to be under the while. I get it... Um, uh, executed five times. So here in this while print, I'm going to say print and then I'm going to call the, I'm going to use the Mercedes object and then I'm going to call the increase speed. Increase speed by 10. And after I increase speed, right after I increase the speed, I also need to increase the counter. So I'm going to say counter is equal to counter plus one. So what does this mean? This means that I am gonna, I'm gonna, um, I'm getting the the old value of the counter, which is zero, and then I'm I'm adding one to it, and then I'm gonna, I'm, and then I'm storing the new value to the counter, to the same counter, and then the second in the second iteration, I am get, I'm getting the the counter, which is now one, and then I'm adding one to it, and then I'm storing the value in the counter again. So the new value is going to be 2. And each time I do this, I'm also increasing the speed. So this, this is going to be, this, this, um, this process is going to happen 5 times. 1 and then 2, and then in the third iteration, I'm, it's going to be 2 and then plus 1, which is going to be equal to 3. And then in the, four, in the fourth iteration, it's going to be 
uh, 3 plus 1, which is going to be 4. And then in the fifth iteration, it's going to be 4 plus 1, 4 plus 1, and then it's going to be 5, and then it's going to stop. Now, if I save, let me save, and let me run my script and show you what's going to happen. So now if I run my script, as you can see, I'm going to get the same exact result. And this is exactly what I would have done earlier if I wanted to increase the speed, but I didn't do that because I wanted to show you the difference between using the, the calling the function many times without using a loop and using a loop. As you can see, using a loop is much easier and much effective.